Welcome to Behind Her Mask. I'm Lindsay Eastwood, your host, diving deeper than just the player's stats on the ice. I will be bringing to you everything you may not know about the Toronto Six. So let's put a face to that mask. Today we have number 27, Cheyenne D'Argangelo. Shy, the NWHL is nothing new for you. You played two seasons before heading to China to play for the Cumberland Red Star, and then the Toronto Furies in the CWHL. You were a member of the PWHPA, and now you're back to start for the start of something big here in Toronto. Thanks for joining me today. Well, thanks for having me. I'm super excited. No, so Shy, you're the only American player on the Toronto Six so far. You're a little bit outnumbered. How are you feeling about that? <laughs> well, so far is the keyword, I think, actually. <laughs> so there's still a chance. Awesome. Now, you've also represented the United States on a number of occasions but I'm sure that gold medal in the 2016 World Championship stands out. Describe that feeling of putting on the red, white, and blue and playing for your country. Yeah, I mean, I think it's always an honor to be able to put on that jersey, right? Whether it's a camp or any tournament. So I'm um, winning a gold medal in it. It's even, you know, more exciting and just, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't even know how to put a word into it, but um, it's an awesome feeling and it's an honor to be able to be picked for those teams. Now, you also graduated from Quinnipiac University with a sociology degree and now you're doing plant-based nutrition. You have your own business. Can you tell, tell us a little bit more about what that entails? Yeah, so um, basically I started my business two years ago and I'm really just trying to help people um, understand eating and uh, new lifestyle approach through whole foods, plant-based nutrition. It's something that I um, live my life by and I want to try and help as many people as I can. You know, and there's something to be said about that pride about being a, a professional athlete and working full-time and, and you have your own business. So, uh, you know, that's that's pretty special and there's something, something about that pride that, it, you know, it sticks with you. But with that being said, where do you see the Toronto Six and the NWHL in five to ten years from now? Yeah, I mean, I hope, uh, I, I think everybody playing in it, we all hope that eventually one day um, females won't have to have a second job to support themselves to play, right? So I think that's the end goal for all of us. And I think if we keep doing the small steps um, and helping out in the communities and, you know, starting your own businesses and doing things to sort of expand our individual brands, I think that will um, come with it and hopefully we can grow, grow our sport even more. I love it. Now what advice do you have for a little girl who wants to play college or professionally? Yeah, I, I mean I would say that uh, anything's possible if you have a big enough dream and you set your um, goals big enough and you just keep working at it day in and day out. Um, you definitely have to put in a lot of work, but it's worth it when you get there. So, you know, never give up and keep on going. Top musician? Uh, Goo Goo Dolls. It's like a classic. <laughs> Love it. Pop pastime? B wait, say that again? Pop pastime. Pastime, like what do you mean by that? Oh, well, this, <laughs> this is the American coming out in you. No. <laughs> Oh, golfing. Okay. See, America. That is so, that is so Canadian. I'll That's be honest. Interesting. Wow. <laughs> wow. All right. Top advice you've ever been given. Oh, geez. That's that's a. Uh, I have no regrets and just keep on moving forward. Love it. Top hockey memory. Um, probably 2016, winning a world championship or playing in China because that was just an experience in itself. So. Oh, absolutely. Now, top rink you've ever played in? Ooh, that's tough. Um, that's just tough because I've played in so many rinks, you know? I, I, it'd probably have to be someone with an, well, someone with the national team just because I, that would have been like a full crowd. But China, probably, to be honest. Really? It was a huge, it was a huge facility. They played like professional basketball there too. And it was actually like, pretty packed. There was a couple thousand people and a bunch of Chinese people that didn't really understand hockey and were learning it. So it was just just a different experience, if that makes sense. Yeah, very cool. And top pregame meal. Ooh, 
that's tough. Um, probably like vegetables and sweet potato, something simple, brown rice. Who was the first female head coach for the U.S. women's Olympic hockey team? Uh, Katie Stone. Bingo, you know your stuff. <laughs> Now, thanks so much for joining me, Shy. I can't wait to get on the ice with you. Now that's number 27, Cheyenne Darkangelo, and this is Behind Her Mask with the Toronto Six.